Yo, what's going on, guys? We just got off of Giant Dipper. So, this is Belmont Park. It's like five minutes from SeaWorld or something. And we just did a train takeover. And it was fun. Alex behind the camera. Dude, that was your first time ride. That was really fun. I don't know how to <laughs> break my wrist at this angle <laughs> to show this. So, it was a really good time. Um, it's just like an older wooden coaster. You could definitely tell. And it bleeds through, but it's definitely fun. Yeah, I mean, the thing is ancient. So, it's uh, not smoothest, nope. but it's fine. I mean, we also were in the back. You guys were in the front. Yeah. Did you yeah. think it was like pre smooth or like how was it holding up? It was I, decent. It was definitely right. I would say for, for a coaster that was made in the 1920s, my, this isn't my first time riding. I rode it yeah, yeah, a few yeah. months ago. I would say I went in, into it expecting it to be pretty rough. I was pleasantly surprised. Like for a coaster that's that old, it's actually aged pretty well. That's good. Yeah, good to hear. You can actually hear it going up at the moment. So. There it goes. The you can hear the chain lift. It sounds like a couple of tin cans or uh, something like just being clanked around. It's it's uh, it sounds like it's dying, which is kind of funny actually. But here it goes. And then there's a turnaround over there. And then a hill right over here. Wait for it. Wait for it. How long does this... There it is. Yay! And then the last time it comes around through is on the back side, so you can't really tell. But uh, this place is fairly small. The beach is right over there. And so they got uh, not too many attractions, but the place is actually like pretty cool. So you can see they got lights strung over the midway. They got lights of lots of shops and stuff. Not really food because you can just go and get food right down there. Beaver tails. Yeah, well, yeah, there's beaver tails. You said you were going to get one, right? Yeah, you're on the I mean, I just spent seven bucks on a ride. I just That's true. That did cost seven dollars. Yeah. And no ace discounts, unfortunately. That was, that was good but for the beaver tails. Yeah. I don't even know. The beaver tails probably expensive. Yeah, the coaster is seven bucks. At least eight. Think more than Giant Dipper? You think beaver tail is worth more than Giant Dipper? What, what would you rather do? E eat a beaver tail or ride Giant Dipper? Beaver tail. Eat, really? Tail. Wow. All right. I'd recommend getting the ice cream here. This is like. The oh, wow. We got like corn. Do not know what a beaver tail is? Oh. Someone in the comments, tell them what a beaver tail is. Just kidding. You can literally like see right there. Uh, I guess they're refurbing their tilt twirl because they got a construction fence over here. <laughs> Um, so I guess they're gonna get one of those. Um, I don't need one because they have them at Lagoon and so I get them a lot over there. But uh, the ice cream does smell really good. So yeah, um, this place is it's pretty cool. This is the second time I've been here. Um, each time, I think the only ride I've done is Giant Dipper. I just ride Giant Dipper and then just walk around and that's it. Which is fine. I mean, I, this is a cool little place to hang out. So. Um, and especially for enthusiasts, just coming here straight after uh, SeaWorld is definitely a must do. If, if you're one, if you're looking to get credits, and then it's just a cool piece of history. And I like the atmosphere around here. Boardwalk parks are always super cool. And also, if you've been to Santa Cruz, then you have the Giant Dipper over there, which is uh, similar but different. And so, uh, definitely got to ride both of them at some point. So, um, we have not been here for very long and we probably won't be staying much longer just because uh, we're heading up to LA so we can go to Knott's Berry Farm and Disney and Magic Mountain and whatnot so we're going to be getting going so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to stay tuned for the next ones from our mini California trip and we'll catch you guys next time.